<laughs> I guess we, so. <laughs> we're, we're back for season two. Season two. Of Jadacast. Hello, yep. everybody. It's been a little while, I know. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess you can say we took a kind of a long uh, holiday break <laughs> from, like, what, from July all the way, when was our last episode? Um, Like, the week before Comic-Con. Yeah, so, so July. Yeah, yeah. So July, yeah. So it was, it's, uh, you know, with all the changes that's been going on between uh, uh, the Simba Dicky group uh, and Jada Toys, new the management, the way everything's run, uh, the new products and that are coming in and, and the new products that we're producing. It's crazy. It's 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 been busy. Uh, we've been trying to find time to be able to come in and, and do a, a record a pod, but you know, we finally kind of caught up, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we're finally here in front of everyone. You know, I I always feel like it's funny when when people say, "Oh, I've been super busy." You know, in my mind, mind I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure, sure, you've been so busy." <laughs> no, like. This is one of those cases where, like, nah, bro, like, <laughs> yeah. damn. Yeah. Yeah. There, well, there's a fire every other week. Yeah, it's, you know? and, and it's not like, you know, people, I've heard people say, like, oh, you guys are getting lazy, it's tough, you know, because it is hard to keep doing these things week after week after week. Um, but, you know what, just to let you guys know that we genuinely like doing this, right? I do. I like, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I love doing this, you know, and um, it just, one thing, it just takes us away from our day-to-day day to day jobs yeah. here um, and, you know, gives us a little time to, you know, not necessarily relax, but just to kind of express ourselves in a different way. Um, so it's it's fun. I love doing this. So Same. Same. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. yeah, you know, um, so since we've we've been away for so long, I think it would be a be a great idea if we were, you know, if we could uh, maybe reintroduce ourselves to, yeah. you know, some of our new viewers and then to some of the people who might have forgot about us. Yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, hello, everybody. I am Jordan. Um, I am the marketing coordinator here for Jada Toys. Um, some of the things I do on a day to day basis are, uh, you know, social media. Um, well, he, he, you know, videography, I am um, trade show logistics, you know, um, you know, pretty much anything that makes you care or makes you you excited about what's happening here here at jada toys it's my job to make you guys aware of that him and his department are the guys who like at the shows make sure that we have all the right samples make sure that we have all the right signage and and all the right uh uh pre-show kind of promotions um you know some like a few years ago at SEMA, we did those uh those raffles where we uh, where we gave away not raffles but there were just those you know where you, where you post and and mm, yeah um, and we gave away a whole display case full of product um him and his department like are the ones that put that all together and it's not just you know him he has a you know there's a whole team with him and behind him whole including brian awesome. who's behind the camera here say hello brian hi <laughs> he's finally mic'd up yeah he's finally mic'd up so he gets to talk a little bit so you mean me have to have him introduce himself a little bit too so yeah but uh yeah dude how long you been here now Mm, um it's coming close to three years i think three years dude yeah so so not exactly three years but you know it's it's coming up so if you don't know he before he came to jada he was a personal trainer um no so i was a personal trainer many years ago oh, but, okay, gotcha. but but prior to that i was still in in the fitness industry mm -hmm. um you know worked at 24-hour fitness and whatnot and um yeah um we got the opportunity a while back um you know i loved cars uh but but loved, loved still yes <laughs> excuse me past tense you know uh, i haven't been been to school in a while but you know, <laughs> you know i love cars i love the culture behind it and then and then on top of that i'm a big fan of everything thing that happens in pop what well, culture and you know and um and once the opportunity arised um you know i was like oh this is pretty damn cool but you guys guys have products for literally for literally almost Dude, everything so it's like know? it was it's like you're you were you read comic books you're all about that kind of stuff so this is like mm -hmm. a perfect job for you because it's all about the things that you're interested in yeah i you mean know. you I, if you guys go back and and listen to the old podcasts that we've had last year um you'll hear jordan talk about like comic book characters that we you know all this uh, stuff not only the comic book characters and the movies and stuff, but he's also into the cars and and especially what you're you're really into the exotics, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, you know because because I like to get into things that 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 I want to 
that I want to aspire to own someday, mm-hmm. you know? So, so, you know, I'm always, always learning more and more about Porsche, Lamborghini, yeah. McLaren, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cause, cause, because I feel like that's, that's the end goal, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, you know, I want to be able to pull up <laughs> in a Lambo someday <laughs> and not have to say <laughs> to anybody, <laughs> you know? So right. yeah, this is how I do it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, Mike, Mike, my name is Mike. I've been at Jada toys for what now? Uh, 15 sit years now, I think, going yeah. on 16. Um, Damn, boomer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> been, I'm just it's kidding. been a while, man. <laughs> He's I, not a boomer. I don't, I don't feel, I don't consider myself one of the OGs, even though I did work with all the OGs mm-hmm. and all the OGs who are now all at different toy companies or different areas doing different things. Um, but, you know, I, I, and I still feel like I'm a new guy here. Mm. It's, it's this job, although it's been 15 years, I really don't feel like it's been 15 years it feels like it's i mean i i feel like i've just started because there's new things every day it's fun um it's not like i always go back to this this example of uh how um ed o'neill when he when he auditioned for um for married to children Mm -hmm. and i was watching this documentary on him and uh the way he walked into his house or the way he he got the job from the audition wasn't because of the way he acted the like the whole scene it was just the first thing he did when he started to act his scene and the the scene was he was walking into his front door into his home where his wife was standing and he had to say a few lines everyone would go through it and um it was just like terrible but when ed o'neill did it to get the the role for al bundy in married to children what he did was he walked up to the front door stopped and just went <sighs> like a sigh he like meaning like I have to go in and deal with my wife. Yeah. At that point, the producers and the directors that cut, you are our guy. That's who we want for mm. Al Bundy. I've never one day felt like that coming into this job. Mm. So it's it's fun. It's I, I learn every day. Um, I came into the job as a packaging designer. Never did one lick of packaging. They pu- immediately put me into the uh, the marketing department i guess you would say but it wasn't really marketing it was just graphics i would do all the collateral material like handouts and flyers i would do um the advertising banners for for um websites i would do all the the powerpoint presentations and then eventually i started doing a little bit more uh with the 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 web department um i would design all the websites and then at that point um then i would do what else man i would i would do the graphics on the cars and from the graphics on the cars, I started actually designing the vehicles and designing the products and designing toys from scratch, like from, from sketch all the way up to a final production. Um, then I was put in the marketing department. I was doing, doing PR. And from that, I went over to it, started doing a little bit of it as well as doing the marketing and stuff. Um, there was a lot of roles, a lot of hats that I've, I've worn. And now, um, I'm the uh, head of the die cast vehicle product development department it doesn't just do vi- die cast but we, are, we also uh, my department does the rcs the die cast um and a lot of other toys as well so that's where i'm at now that was my my whole thing damn man you're a man of many trades <laughs> it's, it's you know what it's uh it's it's because i was given the opportunity or not given the opportunity i recognize the opportunity because a lot of times there's opportunity there you have to know to recognize it and try to go after it some people are more, you know, passive and just, you know, don't even care to go after opportunity. They want it. They, they are more like they want it to come to them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, some people are lucky like that. Yeah. You know, some sometimes. people just do their thing and then they get recognized and, and they just keep moving up. Some people work hard and don't get recognized and don't move anywhere. But some people, you know, sometimes, you know, for me, the way it's been working for me is if I can see an opportunity, I ask about it. I, I you know, inquire, see if I can get in there. And hopefully uh, if, if I can't, then well, maybe that wasn't for me. I'll do something else. But there's, I, you know, as, as long as I'm in, I constantly keep an eye open for anything else I can possibly do to help the company. Because my whole goal is to make the company thrive. Um, you know, it's, it's not really just about me coming to work, walking the door and then like, okay, cool. I'm here. I'm going to collect another paycheck for a full day. Mm -hmm. Mm, um, For me, it's about the reward. It's, you know, that that's part of it. Of course we want to go to a job where we get paid, 
But at the same time, we want to go to a place or I want to go to a place where I can make an, a, a difference and make it successful. Yeah, well, you found found a way to align yourself to a purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, as opposed to just saying, all right, you know, I'm here from nine to five. Well, then let's see, see what I'm able to check off of this list. Right. Yeah. And after a while, you know, I think that that shit will just will just start to kill you. You know, you know what? You know, you you want to feel rewarded mm. and and a, and a paycheck, you know, is 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 nice reward. But I think for. For me, having something that I can call my own and like going to the store the first time, seeing a product that I designed on the shelf, that was like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. You know, now you kind of take that for granted because, you you know, I've been doing it for so long and I look at it and I say like, oh, there's another one. But it's not the case. I still feel a lot of pride seeing my stuff on the shelf, especially mm-hmm. if you see your sh- the, the, the products that you're working on start expanding on the shelves, meaning more product on the shelves. As opposed to having just one or two items, you have yeah. three or four, maybe more. You know, it's it's as soon as soon as you start seeing it grow, that's when you know you're doing your job right, and that's what keeps me fueled, keeps me going. That's what I like. Do you ever just stand stand in the aisles, and then you know if somebody picks up one one, but you're just like, I made that. No, nah, I, I made saw, that. I saw a kid. He picked up a, a, a an RC. I'm like, nope, you don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> never. I would never do that. Oh. I would, I'd, be, I'd be the creeper that's around the corner watching. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so yeah. That's me and uh, and I know I've been talking for a little bit. But what about Brian back there? Brian, how long you been here? I've been at. G- oh, hi, I'm Brian. I've been at Jada <laughs> s- almost seven years now. Seven years. Dude. Yeah. Time really flies. I interviewed the dude. I yeah. was part of the interview process yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah that was, was cool. scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm the senior marketing manager here. Um, I manage the marketing team on a day to day basis. I handle a lot of uh, assets for you know our sales department for you know the help with the photography. I produce it, help produce this podcast. Mm-hmm. In a nutshell, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> he's being humble. He's he's, you know, I like. For Brian, I like him to say that he's kind of like that Swiss Army knife. You know, um, mm-hmm. you know everything. He knows how to do a lot of stuff, and everything that that he knows how to do, it's very useful, yeah. very very useful. So yeah, you know, he's being humble right now. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, we were talking about him the other day. Remember, we were we went to lunch and we were talking about how uh, similar we are. I mean, there's a kind of person that, that, that works here at Jada. And a lot of us, we all, like, including you, Jordan, um, know how to do a lot of different things mm-hmm. and are willing to learn a lot of different things. You know, we have um, uh, a designer, his name Paulo. He's, he's very similar to how Brian and I are, where he has a lot of traits or skills that go beyond just design or, or just beyond, or beyond, you know, computers or whatnot. Uh, same with uh, say who's also in our department. June is is ridiculous. Who's the head of the um, the the figure and toy side of Jada Toys? Uh, dude, the, the, we have a lot of talent here, and that not that aren't just focused on one thing. They can do a lot of different things, and I think that what that's what kind of makes Jada a little more fun than other companies I've worked at. It's because we are allowed to step over lines mm, yeah we're yeah. not just focused on on like if, if if you're a vehicle designer you only design vehicles no our, our my department is also making some toys as well um june's department the figure side is also doing some vehicles so you know it goes back in hand in hand and and it gives us also some some fresh ideas to work with when we're working on a day-to-day thing yeah you know it's it's we're not just peg uh, pigeonholed into a one one st- type of uh of product yeah we well, full autonomy of yeah exactly mm-hmm. so it's nice yeah like f- for me you know i think that that on a day-to-day basis maybe about 70 percent of of 70 percent of the things that i do are things that that are not things that are not included in my job description you know right right and, yeah but 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 it's not as if you know i'm being being penalized for something like that you know it's you know having Every employer, every company should 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 really learn to value the employee who who will not just will sit around Matt Matt his desk after like he's done yeah. and just be like, all right, well, 
well, I ran, I'm out of stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, like, of thumbs and yeah, just yeah. Like, and not say a thing. Yes, yeah. not say a damn mm-hmm. thing and just sit there, you know, um, you know, but you want to have, have people who, have people who are finding ways to just add value back, right. back to what <clears throat> they do. And part of that is just having people who are excited to be there. Yep, exactly. Yeah. That's cool. And, so. uh, um, you know, I think it's time to uh, also maybe address the elephant in the room. You <laughs> yeah. Know, since, since, since we're all here, here introducing ourselves, um, you know, if you guys, you guys have watched our podcast previously, um, our third member is um he, you know appears to be what well, camouflage in the room somewhere <laughs> yeah. you know, well just kidding but um and so daryl so daryl is no longer with with the company um before everyone starts to throw out you know like some c- conspiracy theories yeah. as to what happened this isn't that we will gladly tell you um you know so daryl has actually you know he's an entrepreneur um, and, and he, you know, he has actually been, been working on a project for a personal project for yeah, his own thing for maybe more than 10 years now. And, um, and, you know, he finally is in a position in life as to where he was able um, to take it on full time mm-hmm. and, and, you know, he's doing it now, Yep. you know, things, things are starting to pick up for him. He's rocking and rolling and, um, and, you know, obviously, obviously, human beings only have have 24 hours and you know i'm in a day yeah and so and so you know um he he's 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 doing that now yep. but yeah. yeah but everything everything's good with him we're yeah. we're all tight still we're in fact we're probably going to go out to lunch uh this week again yeah we we we, we still hang out uh you just went to a car show with him over the weekend dude man um, he's practically my neighbor yeah exactly yeah. well practically he's literally your neighbor. yeah literally <laughs> my neighbor I yeah see him, yeah you know, so yeah. everything's good with him you know it's just you're gonna see one less face here on this podcast uh we may bring some other people in um you know we're working on a lot of different things here as one thing is uh we have some new digs yeah um not really new digs we just uh kind of ch- want to change it up for season two yeah um spice it up a little yeah bit. right now our, our walls are black we're going to be adding some decorations um you know and the decorations because of the way we have it set up the decorations can change so we may change it week by week um you know you may want to keep an eye out on what's behind us we may have some easter eggs mm-hmm. uh um so it's beneficial for you not only to listen to the podcast on audio, but if you go to YouTube where we upload the video por- uh, the video version of our podcast, I say uh, it's a good idea to check that out. For YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. So, yeah, check that out. It's uh, I think it's going to be fun because we have a whole new different way of doing the podcast um, instead of just rambling on on a, on a couple different topics uh we're gonna have what's called uh diff- we're gonna have different segments yes you want to introduce that a little bit yeah um so so we're going going to break down 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 a, we're going to break down our time in the podcast um to certain types of segments and so the one that that we're going um to go in into now is um is called jada what well, custom builds and so in this one when we're going to go over some some cool photos that that fans have have uh here let me start that over you know so, <laughs> I know, don't worry and, about that dude yeah, and so I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> like let me yeah, tell you a little okay so a little back back now nice. yeah we're, we're yeah. a little rusty yeah don't touch me bro <laughs> <laughs> he's always so so aggressive with that too <laughs> i love it um so for jada custom builds we're going no, to oh. yeah well, well let me let me kind sure. of preface that a little Please. bit we don't script any of this yeah, we just kind of have a time, uh, an outline of what we want to do or what we want to talk about, and then we start talking. So forgive us if we start stumbling, if we don't sound like we know what we're talking about. We hope we do, but I know. don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Jada Custom Builds, this is a segment that we're going to do maybe every week because we have a bunch of different segments. We're gonna we're gonna outline the segments in the the description of the podcast uh, that that's being uploaded. Um, this particular one is we're calling Jada custom builds. We're going to go look at our social media and find tags, uh, uh, photos of, of pictures of custom, custom vehicles, Jada toys, builds, not just t- vehicles, but also figures that have the Jada toys tag. So just tag Jada toys. If it's custom build, we can tell what it is. Well, we may feature your custom build on this podcast. Definitely. So, is that right? Does that sound okay? That sounds. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> yeah. better. Than it was a lot easier it. to imagine what this segment was about in my head 
but saying it was a little more different. So tag Jada Toys on all your pod or on your all your posts, especially your custom builds, including your custom builds. We also want to see your collections and all that kind of stuff too. But we want to feature your custom builds because uh, we think that's one of the coolest parts of the hobby is is how you guys take what we do and make it better, make it your own. You know, there's a lot of things that 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 we've seen that are just outrageous, and we're gonna hear, we're gonna like kind of highlight just a couple, just so you kind of get a taste of what this is about. And we'll give you a shout out too. Yep, for sure. So, so. for the first one, um, I have right here, and this is another reason why why you should watch us on YouTube because you know because you want to actually see what see what I'm pulling up on the screen here. Yep. But um, for the first one, yeah, this one's hot, man. Is, What's his name again? Uh, Joey Pelodi. Joey Pelodi. Um, he was, he, I believe he posted this on Facebook in one of the Jada Toys photography groups. And man, this is a, so what we're looking at here is a, a, a Nissan GTR R35 Ben Sopro 124 scale car. Um, it's blue. It has graphics that are like you know the custom graphics i i, I know our our team here didn't do this yeah no but it's you know the way he did it the the he pulled the tires and wheels out so the fitment is tight nice and flush yeah i mean it, this looks like a production quality build um we have other pictures that i've seen um and we don't i didn't pull them up but i i, I might be able to we, we might be able to post them uh, yeah, on the video when definitely. we do the editing but he also did the uh, custom engine on the interior. I mean, it's it's nice. I, if, is, are the seats white? Can you see that? The seats are white. Yeah. See, so he even did the interior as well. Oh man, this is. I mean, this 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 little custom is is hot. I mean, you know, the Ben Soper kit is already a um, crazy enough yeah. kit as it is. Right. I mean, right. I mean, you know, but you buy that, you pretty much bought another. Well, GTR, yeah, yeah know, exactly. It's about right, sixty grand to get that that put on, but dude, the graphics and the livery on here, I love it. You know, yeah. So uh, full on, you know, it's like a race spec. You know, yeah. Joey Pelodi on Facebook posted this, and uh, and we'll we'll show a bunch of different pictures of what he's done uh, to this vehicle. But yeah, that thing is 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 hot. Joey so, Pelodi out here is doing the damn thing. Yeah. So this is more one of the more uh involved customs i want to say because there's so much in there i mean there's there's a lot of graphics um you know even painting the the engine even painting the interior uh, but we will even feature like the next guy who did something very simple yeah let's pull him up yeah and we're gonna do we're gonna feature two from this guy and this guy was also from facebook and um and his name is hanif youssef Hanif Youssef. Yeah. So what we're looking at here is um, a Datsun 620 pickup by Jada Toys, and all he did was was lower it. I believe he lowered it a little bit more. It might be the stock height, but he may have lowered it a little bit more, and just swapped the rims. And I think he painted the rims too, because mm -hmm. I don't think we have a gold um, face with with a chrome hoop rim. But it's. It it yeah, it just looks hot. Yeah, with this you know, is this a stretch well tire fitment? Yeah, so there are different tire fitments that we have. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the two eighty Z that we have that um that we've done in the in the past, it has two different tire thicknesses and two widths, and they're both stretched. Mm -hmm. But uh and and the and all our rims should be you know, we have a couple different size rims that you can use. Swapping tires is is pretty easy. Uh, and you can you know look for the style of tire you want. So that 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 two eighty Z has the stretched tire look. Um, I don't know which tire. It's, it's, it's hard to see what the tire is. I think these are more just the thin tires. Yeah. The low profile tires here. Uh, but yeah, if it, it, you guys can play with that kind of uh, uh, setup too as well. If you guys want to play with uh, customizing. Yeah. But yeah, nice the, and simple. You know. Yeah. Like, super simple. It looks clean. I mean, it, it this. If I saw this car on the street, I'd be like, that that's a head turner for me for sure. Broke my neck. Yeah. And then we have another one from from the same guy. Let's pull that one up right now. Yep. So we have what the we have the Toyota F T one or or more commonly known as what the Supra should have been. <laughs> what the Mark V Supra should have been. 
<laughs> it's yeah. But um yeah, this one's pretty dope. And yeah. so and so we have have had the FT one, but it actually has the Supra wing on it. Yeah. With a pretty cool the stock super wing. Yeah. So we're talking the stock like the big not the wow, what do they call it? They, uh, people started calling them shopping cart wheel uh wings did back they? in the day. Well, because, you know, the the knockoff or the af- the aftermarket wings that people would put like on Nissan Sentras. Oh I mean, made the cars look like shopping carts, but those Nismo Sentras. <laughs> 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 but they, you know, on on this car, I mean, one of my favorite cars in last year's SEMA was the Heritage um, Supra. Agreed. The new Supra that was that it, it, and that thing was hot. It was the new Supra with the with the old style wing, at like the what's the A eighty? Yes. Yeah, is that what it is? I can't keep forgetting. A eighty. Mm-hmm. And um. Man, I, I, I think that was my favorite vehicle of the show. Uh, and that's what he can, basically did here. He put that wing on the FT1, and and it looks good. I mean, he even did the wheels right. If you look at his wheels and tire, the, the, the stance, and it, look how flush. He, that That is about as, look, I don't even think that you can make make fitment that flush in real life that no, is no just, no that is just too perfect have you seen rwb fitment yeah come on okay, okay, yeah you're right, yeah, you're right. <laughs> cuz R- and i saw an, there is a a scene and i forgot what it's called it's in japan it's typically with the vip guys so the vip are, are the you know the like the luxury edition uh cars like like the the yeah, the, the lexus or it's toyota toyota crowns um, and out here, there would be the Lexus E series or, mm-hmm. or whatever, all the different um, Lexuses or whatever. You know, the Yakuza boss cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they have the the, the curtains mm-hmm. and the tassels, and yeah. it, I mean, uh, the, uh, my dream next build would be a VIP style car. Yeah, if not a van. <laughs> but um, there, over there, they have a thing where your car is not low enough unless you can. You can only fit one business card between the fender and the tire. So when I say business card, I'm not talking about the the height of the business. I'm talking the thickness of the paper. Yeah. And if you can fit that one in in the in the wheel gap, that's all right. If you get two business cards and start to put it, try to put it, and it, and it doesn't fit, you're that's even better. That you want only one thickness of the business card. And they're static, huh? They have like to be. No yeah, I believe because in the air suspension, I I don't that's. The geometry for that is a lot harder because you'd have to make sure you know when you when it lifts up because the camber starts to come in and out. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to measure all that and, and make that that precise. But I think a lot of them could be could be aired. But, but this was back then, back before air was oh, big. Man. This is you know this was a long time ago. I mean this is just after like the trend of just cutting springs because nobody made spring lowering springs that could do that stuff. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, they, they were pretty hardcore. Driving that low on static, that's yeah. kind of, you know, it should be a sport in and yeah. of itself. You know? Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, it takes a skill for sure to drive those things around. And a lot of bravery. Yeah, taking, taking cardboard at an angle, dude. Dude, that's so cool. But yeah, and so. But in Japan, you can drive like that, dude, because the, the, the roads are, are perfect. Yeah, yeah. Man. It's not like out here in a. Uh, here in the states, in California, where where it takes well, well four years to build a sidewalk. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, that's our first uh, segment. What do we call it? We call it Jada Custom Builds. Yep. So, uh, again, tag Jada Toys on your custom uh, vehicle builds or in your custom figures, whether it's metals, metal figs, nano metal figs. Uh, even if you do custom little nano Hollywood rides, I mean, we want to see all your customs uh you know we just want to talk about it because we th- we think that's a cool part of the the hobby yep yep amanda it's our way of being able um to give back to give some some props. some hype yeah props um to people in the community who take yeah. who take well such a long time to time to build these cool yeah. custom builds so i uh, they put a lot of effort into it you yeah. know maybe we even put together like uh you know maybe the next one that we do is not only builds but we can do like photography because i know toy photography is really big right now yeah so you know let's see that toy photography and and we'll talk about it on air because it's yeah yeah feature us yep cool let's move on to to um to another segment of ours we're still trying to iron out 
the uh, proper name for this, but for now we can call it our culture highlights. So, um, so I know that that we're a little late to this party. Yeah, but it's still still a hot topic. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the uh, Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> Cybertruck. Yeah. Let's see. Let me... What do you think about it? You know what? I actually kind of like it. I like it a lot because I like how how it has that. Ha you know, it's very futuristic. Yeah. But it's kind of a slap in the face because because you know a lot of us thought that you know by the year 2020, <laughs> especially for me um, as a kid, um, I thought thought got like you know it would be like future future. Yeah, we'll know? have flying cars and all of that yeah. like that stuff. But this, but it looks futuristic, but it also looks like like you know it could be taken <laughs> back to like the 80s. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's it's the the first thing I thought when I saw this car is um I it it brought me back to my the Star Wars that that triangle destroyer that you know that the, the do you remember what that's called Brian Star the Star Destroyer that big triangle thing I had that in Lego and the parts look like the parts <laughs> that they use to design this car it's just all the triangle pieces that they kind of put together. Um, I mean, I have my 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 opinions on it. I mean, you 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 like it. I like it, um, for what it is. Yeah. You know? I mean, so my opinion is, I, I I'm a truck guy. Yes. I've always had trucks. I mean, product TRD I, Pro. <laughs> I've had. I mean, I've I've been I ran the gamut when it comes to vehicles, but in a right currently, I'm a I'm a truck dude, and functionality wise, I don't see how this truck can really be a. I don't think it could be a work truck. I think it's mostly a recreational truck, but at the same time, as a recreational truck, it doesn't look like it could be that functional as a recreational truck. Maybe just duning, sand going in, into the to the sand dunes. Yeah, um, you know, just, just stomping around like like really quick in the dirt, mudding. Um, but you can't. I don't see. I, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how they would put a, a a roof rack on it because of the angles to be able to have a a rooftop tent because I, I i use mine for off-roading and, and camping yeah um you know yeah they they had a uh a, a atv that went in the back of there so they you know there's some hauling involved which is which is good uh but man i the way i use my truck i don't see myself being able to use this you know but i could be wrong because we we're seeing a lot of people designing after this vehicle right now, right? Yeah. So, so a couple, one of the people that we want to kind of highlight with some of these designs is the Kaiza. Yes, sir. He makes he makes all of these pretty cool renders on IG. Yeah. And um, he, he gets actually, pretty wild with them, man. He's like he's 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 his imagination with these things are, are pretty out uh, out there, and it's it's cool the way he renders them out. So, if you go go onto Inst. Instagram and type in the underscore K Y Z A Kaiza, you can see some of the some of the things he did for the Tesla truck. And man, they're pretty dope. He has one stanced out on freaking air suspension on a deep <laughs> with, dish with a crazy wide body kit yeah. on it. It's it it's turned into more of a of a of a lowered supercar. Rather, it doesn't even look like a truck anymore no, at this point. I dig it. Yeah, if crazy. I saw that in real life, I'd yeah. be like, "Yo, man, what's up?" Yeah, I mean, it's 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 crazy. From the back, it looks like a truck because of that 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 bed um, gate, the tailgate. But it, it also, I mean, you know what? It does. You know, <laughs> so we're seeing a lot of memes, and um, one of the memes that I've seen is that this truck looks like the the DeLorean. Right. Yeah. So, and so one of those renderings does look like the DeLorean. But speaking of memes, there's a couple other ones that we want to bring up regarding this vehicle. This way. <laughs> so here's meme number one. <laughs> With, <laughs> I'm still trying to. All right. <laughs> so if what we're looking at here <laughs> is one of the you know you've probably seen this coffee maker. It's it's probably passed through your white elephant gift exchanges during the holidays. To people it's, who don't like you, yeah, it's it's a it's one of those like metal coffee makers, and it's all like it's just it looks all geometric, uh, and, and I'm sure you 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 you've seen it. And then there's a, a tubular go kart, and it says it has a plus sign in between, and it equals the 
Tesla Cybertruck. Which which is pretty damn accurate. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's funny because it's true. It's what it looks like. You know, we're not lying here. Yeah. It, it, it does look just like you merged a coffee pot with a, with a tubular go-kart. It kind of <laughs> looks like, you know, have you ever had a project in school that you've had like, you know, like months to work on and then, and then, but the night, but the night before it's actually due is when you yeah. actually start yeah. <laughs> and then you show up with like the final project and yeah. you're like, oh, here it is. Like oh, you man. got us hyped up for all this. Right. And then this is what you come out with. Now, keep in mind, I like it. I do like it. Even I though like it looks it. like a clog. A clog? The shoes. What? I don't think I've ever so seen So a clog, clog is basically... <laughs> oh, So clogs are basically like like uh, like Crocs, you know, like slippers, Ugh, yeah. but they're wooden. Oh, my. Really? But... You know the Dutch wooden clogs oh, are are more rounded. Oh, man. I mean, if you look at the side profile, it has that same shape. It looks like a slipper, mm-hmm. basically. Hmm. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, but <laughs> this next meme. <laughs> it, I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> I drew this. Uh, the car I drew as a kid, and I, I, I'm sure you guys seen this meme. And it just looked like a piece together car, and and it looks like a hot dog on wheels, kind of. Dude, when I first saw this meme, bun. I literally have drawn this vehicle when I was a, as a kid. <laughs> I remember, I specifically remember drawing that exact kind of vehicle. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how much of this is is doctored up, but look at the wheels, look how high they are. I mean, look, that's exactly how a kid would draw yeah. a car. Be, you know, not even not knowing what ge- you know the geometry, the, the the physics behind all of it. It just yeah. When you're five years old and you're just just in class, just drawing nonsense. Yeah, yeah. You would. That's draw exactly this. that. And then the Cybertruck is the car I drew as a kid after my mom brought me a triangle ruler. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just triangles. It's yeah. I mean, when dude, I, I when I had got my first uh, compass. You know the the little needle with a little V, and then you put a pencil on, and yeah. you can adjust it, and you can turn it. And dude, I was like, that was heaven for me. I never like, drawing had one of those. No, I never had drawing one of those. a perfect circle was like the coolest thing in the world to me. Damn, I would like I would sit there and just draw circles all day. My simple life, dude. <laughs> I grew up in a time without video games, man. I'm pretty old here. Hey. <laughs> I know I had video games, but I grew up when they first started. Yeah, I mean, I like what straight up like ColecoVision, Atari. Oh, okay. See, I know Atari. Yeah, I know ColecoVision Atari. was kind of like a little bit after Atari, I guess. But those were the ones that I grew up. I mean, that's that's how old I am. Good times. Yeah, you just seen Jordan's face when he said ColecoVision. Who? <laughs> like, uh, 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 you like, you're like you're and like, television like, also? Like, say that again, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, dude. But yeah, no, and I couldn't afford those things, so I had to go to a neighbor's who had those video games and play them there. And because you know, I was at home playing with compasses and protractors and <laughs> oh, is it a protractor that does the the circles? That's a protractor, not a uh, compass. Is it a compass? Is the, the the half circle one? I think, right? No protractor. No com- compass. I think compass is the one with the pencil. With with the pencil and yeah. yeah. What's a protractor? You asking the yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's that half, the half it looks like a moon, like a half circle. Yeah, so it's a, it's it's like a like a triangle ruler, but it's a half circle one. Yeah, huh? Just gotta look that up. <laughs> just... Don't ask me. Nah, but um, but you know what? If it ever, if it, I'm skeptical of if it'll ever even come out. Mm-hmm. You know, because I mean, like for example, the Tesla, the Roadster, yeah. that 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 super fast one. Yeah. It was supposed to come out last year, and well, nothing's happened. And you know, he took took fifty thousand dollar deposits, mm. and nothing has happened. Oh, so, really? And so, and so, but you're taking people's well money to help you finish a project mm-hmm. that you say is supposed to come out on a certain date, and and well, nothing has happened. I think for this one, you just have to put down down a dollar. There's a hundred like. bucks. Oh, okay. I think it's a hundred dollars. I think. Okay, and so and so they're obviously well taking that to help them finish producing it. Yeah, I mean I don't know. There, it's 
Elon and um, Jay Leno were just out this weekend driving around Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's there's a there's a model out there, a working model. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how easy it is to break into and how. <laughs> but <laughs> did you see you see the video with the guy and the sledgehammer? Yeah, not, he was just throwing a rock at her or something, and he didn't even push to throw it like full force or anything. And wasn't so, it not supposed to break? Yeah, it was, it was it's supposed broke. to be like bulletproof glass or something. <laughs> Could you imagine being on stage <laughs> saying, "Look, I'm about to throw this rock <laughs> through this glass, and nothing is about to happen. Watch this, guys." That, not He's only like, did it do it once, but he did it twice. <laughs> He's like, boom! I was like, oh, shit. What the hell happened, man? Oh, man. After I was done on stage, I would have just screamed at everybody oh, backstage. Like, I know. I wonder how many up? people got yelled at for that one. Hmm. I don't know where that went wrong, but that's crazy. I mean, that's... that's that guy... Uh, well, that guy guy is probably about to be, like, strapped into, a in, into like, you know, a SpaceX rocket <laughs> and, and, shot sent, space. and sent into outer dude, space with no oxygen But I don't oxygen think they tank. have anything to worry about, dude, because... Uh, because Tesla, they just they their stock just jumped because they had like super high earnings yeah. that reported. So yeah, they always go back. They're up. good. They're good. They have nothing to worry about. Yeah, especially with Joe Rogan in the mix. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. All right. So yeah, there you go. That's segment number two, culture highlight. So number th- yeah. So um for our so, next for so so if you guys have any vehicle memes uh pop culture memes send them over to us if you want us to talk about it if you think it's funny we can you know we'll, we'll talk about it we'll break it down we'll see uh you know what we can come up with when we see these things and if it makes us laugh a very important part of my job is looking at memes that i think are funny so, yeah yeah so it's a go ahead <laughs> we'll shoot a dm to us um you know at the jada toys toys instagram i'll be on there and um you know i'll we'll throw them up on here and yep. we'll talk about them yeah cool so moving on to our next well segment, and now this is one that this is one that an OG like Mike will <laughs> will will be able to talk about. Yeah, uh, I guess we're gonna call this one Jada Throwback. So uh, this is where, and it's most likely gonna be me, unless we have some kind of uh, a guest to come in and talk about. But this is something that we want to put into the podcast just to give you guys a little bit of a background or or history of Jada. Um, you know, these are products that aren't on the shelf anymore, but uh, they can be found, uh, you know, whether it's through through hobby stores, through eBay, through uh, different means, whatever. But, uh, you know, so this okay, the dark web, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I can't. But anyways, um, I'm going to talk about one item or one brand or one segment that I think that, you know, uh, you guys should know about. And I may have been forgotten. And today's topic would be uh, uh halo the video game did you play halo i was a playstation kid sorry uh dude brian did you play halo yeah i used to play online pretty regularly yeah halo where did when did you, did you start with halo one uh, i started with halo one and then i dropped out just after three. uh yeah so same here same here halo one was like me and my friends would just go to each other's houses or even play from home and just like play all night and i was this was before i was uh, i got my contacts in because now, if I play video games, these contacts just move around and I can't even focus on the TV. Oh, anymore. really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so I would have to wear glasses. And when I wear glasses, I just I just get annoyed at the glasses now. So um, I don't even play video games anymore. But anyways, Halo. Halo, uh, we did die cast vehicles and f- um, articulated plastic figures. Now, we didn't just do like your typical six inch figure or uh, what's the what's the bigger size, Brian? Ten inch? Well, like like you like like the DC ones that you collect. Oh, like like the twelve inch scale? twelve inch scale um, uh, or six seven five is a common one. Too. Yeah, so they weren't like that. They were kind of small. Like we kept with our one twenty four scale vehicles. So the uh, the warthog hog, for example, was twenty four scale. Um, oh, was twenty four scale of warthog, and we included articulated. I think it was like seven to eleven points of articulation miniature figures that were one twenty four scale that fit into the vehicles, and not only did we do the one twenty four uh warthog we did the ghost we did the banshee with the falcon we did a all bunch of vehicles and they're all in scale to each other and all the characters were in scale to each other so they worked with everything and it was a it was a really cool product that we did and 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 i'm sure we'll, we'll pull up pictures and show um but you know when we debuted it over at comic-con we made a little diorama and made the whole scene uh, a war scene just like what it's in the video game and i think it was one of the coolest uh, properties that we did 
and we executed really really well and june who is the the head of the the figures department who does all the medals he's the one that did the figures on that and um man i mean he did a good job and i think that is the reason those little figures is the reason why we were able to get the master toy license for mm. robocop later on where we did figures and um, action figures and a bunch of role play stuff and eventually led us to doing medals and metal figs so v jada toys being typically known as a vehicle company rc and diecast uh, we have to do things in a certain way to be able to get recognized for different categories so we got in by doing vehicles but we got into figures because we said we're going to include the figures with the vehicle mm. so we you know if we couldn't just get figures by themselves we would have to include the, the vehicle and which is kind of the precursor to what we're doing now for hollywood rides so it all stemmed from that so that halo i think is like you know no pun intended the halo uh line for hollywood rides pretty much oh i see what you did there. yeah zing but yeah that's my jada throwback <laughs> that, okay that's pretty cool actually honestly yeah I, I and there's a lot of stories like that 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 you know we have in the jada history there's a lot of things that i can talk about that you know that i think will be interesting to the viewers who are into jada toys and diecast and pop culture yeah i can't wait for guitar hero oh guitar hero that one's gonna be fun actually we got videos dude <laughs> <laughs> you know what um for some of our og fans you know um but you guys guys have been around um since day one if you're able um to like you know um to come up with maybe predict or just will send us you know some of the og lines or toys that 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 we have made in the past um feel free feel free um to shoot it over to us and yeah. um so we can 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 we'll cover that one the next yeah. episode like yeah. for example all, all over uh, like some of the facebook uh like photography groups recently they just started posting a lot of felix the cat stuff that we've done in the past See, I and i haven't seen those things in like man i want to say the, the only time i saw them here at the office was maybe my second year here at jada and that was because i was rummaging through the warehouse looking for something and i, I just happened to run across them so like stuff like that. That's I mean I I, I can go pretty far back because I I know not only the stuff from when I started, but um, I was taught about or was uh I was told about a lot of other things that happened prior to to me coming in. So I kind of know a lot of things. Not only because of the coworkers that work here at telling me about it, and the the, the hardcore people who have been here for twenty years, but because of um, the fans, they ask me about it, and then I go and research it. You know, there's a lot of fans that ask me about certain things that that they found and it had the Jada Toys name on it and they had no idea what it was for or where it came from. And I went and did my research. And because there's still people that have that are working here from 20 years ago, uh, they were able to tell me a lot about it. So th there's things out there. If you guys want to know, send them in. Let me let, let Jordan and me look into it. We'll we'll hopefully be able to feature it on one of our next uh, cult, uh, what Jada throwback uh, segments. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> the value of uh, having people around. Yeah, for sure. So next segment, we are going to get into some into some teasers. Yes, sir. Now the teasers that that we'll start to showcase, they can either be be of you know um, you know obviously there'll be things that 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 can be traced back to us, mm -hmm. whether that be um, be like trailers for a movie, or maybe um, we'll teasers of some new with diecast that, yep. that we're putting out so for this teaser um we have should we talk about fast nine well i mean it's well, at I this forgot, point are we going, going well no 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 at this point the the teaser trailer has already been released for fast nine on the fast saga instagram page yeah and it's been passed around quite a bit so right now we're just going to kind of wa watch that and uh you know kind of talk about it a little bit um, but at the end of the week, uh, this coming Friday, today's, uh, is Wednesday. They're sh supposed to be releasing the full trailer for fast nine. Uh, we still don't know what the actual name of the movie is, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a watch and we'll record it, our reactions and talk about it. 
So for now, we're going to to watch the Fast 9 teaser trailer. And um, let's just see what our reactions are. See yeah. what we think. Knowing me, I'll probably talk over it. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Just talk over it. So what we're seeing. Uh, so we got... We got Dom working on a tractor. Working on the Old Town Road. And a little boy with some curly hair. From his so hot. do you think Dom has curly hair if he were to grow it out? <laughs> Yo, I've never seen, <laughs> seen Ben Diesel with hair. How long has he been in Hollywood now? Oh, dude, he's been a while, man. I don't think he's ever had hair in it. Not that I know of. I mean, Michelle Rodriguez's hair is kind of wavy, but not curly like that. Yeah. So I got to imagine that. That's, that, from, that's, really... well, that's from, from his last girl. Oh, the one who got killed. That's right. In that's Fast right. Eight. Yes, that's right. All right. All right so we see his his boy then, and his boy's name is Dom. No. What's his name? Paul. Yeah. No. 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 Come on, dude. Brian. Excuse me. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was a teaser. It was pretty quick. <laughs> like, about, like, about what? That literally, it was like like a second. Like fifty nine seconds. Exactly. <laughs> was it? Was it a minute? Mm -hmm. Was it that long? Man, okay, so so we see Michelle Rodriguez come into the bedroom where the little boy is at, and she gave him the the crucifix, the necklace. Yeah. Now, and now now they're they're in a in a in a barn or in a farmland, like it's like out in the country. They're laying low. They yeah, get, they're laying really low. They got billions of dollars, and 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 they could just live anywhere at any moment. Kid, the kid looks like like four mm -hmm. years old around. Yeah. So when the last movie ended, it, he was newborn. Yep. So we got a. It's it's we we're we're ex, we're suspecting it's four years later, about. Yeah, that newborn was actually. He's okay. No, it, no. In in the movie, he was a little older, right? And he wasn't just born. It was probably like no, he was like still he an was infant. A newborn. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. So then, four years maybe around there, they're living on a farm. He's souping up a tractor trailer, probably putting a turbo <laughs> on it. Nas. You see, the thing about about <laughs> this this teaser trailer is that uh, I don't really care about anything that happened in it. You know, yeah. I want to see, I want to see race car. That's true. Yeah. But there has to be some significance to this little teaser because. I mean, because it's all about family now, which is cool and all. And unless that kid is, is, is something, something happens to the kid. He ciphers son. Oh, dude. <laughs> that's, that's who it probably is. So if it's ciphers son. Holding, cy him. Oh. Like holding him as a ransom. Because Dom, he did <laughs> Dom, Dom, he did spend a lot of alone time with Cipher. It's true, and she did make out with him in front of his own girlfriend. You should, that's true. She pretty much had a gun to his head, well, figuratively, which is why he did it. So, so that means that Dom is the one with the curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Brown? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's probably the 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 storyline is going to have something to do with the kid. Yeah. And I think that's why they're they're you know they, this teaser is pushing that part of it because I, I, there's no other reason why they would make it so low key without the vehicles. I mean, dude. So today they just released the the a bunch of images with the characters and their cars. Yeah. So what do we see there? Here, let me pull that up. Yeah. So um, I believe that uh, that on if you fast if you follow the the Fast Saga Instagram page, which I believe is the official one, right, Brian? Yeah, so the official Instagram is Fast Saga. Uh, you'll see some images of uh, of all that. So that's where they released the the what's it called the um, the teaser trailer, and now that's where they released all these images. Hey, so when is something officially called called a saga? But do you have to have Dude, like ten movies. Even, well, this one's already at nine, man. I think it could have been a saga at like four or five. Yeah, because like that point everyone's like so invested in it it's like you gotta uh, it, it's gotta be so wait wait back in in um in f8 wasn't there something else about the there's the, a the tracking crucifix? beacon so is is there so there's some technology in it yeah yeah so that's just, how that's how how shaw was able to rescue his kid last time because okay. they had the tracking beacon okay 
the guy who tried to blow up that same kid <laughs> one <laughs> one movie prior. So that's where I'm thinking that, you know, if there's a tracker on there, that kid somehow gets kidnapped at some point and they're going to bring back that, that tracker and try to find him and get him back. Mm. But they should just like, like, Again, this is like my guess. Injected into him. Oh yeah, I know. Like, like, you know, like, like a freaking beast. puppy dog, dude. You put a freaking track. Like, a... <laughs> hey man, that stuff works. <laughs> it's effective. Effective, yeah. So, right here is where we see all the different cars. We got Dom. He's in front of a Charger. It looks more of a classic front end. It doesn't look like a crazy, like, souped up reared one yeah look at those skinny front tires yeah really skinny front tires you know what that means yeah it's it's made for one thing and one thing only straight lines if you try to turn in that you are going off a cliff <laughs> and you're that's, dead you know so that's pretty interesting to me mm -hmm. i like that we got mia with uh what kind of motorcycle is that that's a my yeah so my knowledge suzuki. of zuki or Ooh. yamaha is that yamaha yamaha that's yamaha yamaha is that is is that a dirt bike specifically, or is that that what kind of like all, you know, like the all-terrain ones? All-terrain is kind of dirt bike, I guess you were going to say. But, yeah, it's not your road bike for okay. sure. Hmm. And then, wait, so let's, let's kind of break this down too. The, like Dom's, there's smoke behind each vehicle, and um, the person in uh, the character is standing in front of the vehicle. Behind Dom is gray smoke. Hey, yo, his biceps look uh, pretty good right there, huh? Yeah, but you know when you cross your arms. I mean, he has biceps, though. I can't say that. You know when you cross your arms, you can kind of push him out a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I mean as a person, you know, as a person who doesn't have any Slow biceps, patrol. I can't, can't, Whatever. you know, I can't fool anybody. Like, yeah. look, I'm trying. Whatever, dude. Yeah, that's because he's all glute. <laughs> <laughs> all my muscle <laughs> goes straight to my butt. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're at one hour. Okay, let's just let's, let's burn through this real quick. So, so Mia has the, the the red smoke behind her, and we got who's this? Roman. Roman. He's uh, looks like a jeep. Jeep oh, so gladiator, I think. Oh, really? It looks like it. Yeah. So yeah, and it's lifted. It has some huge tires. I want to say freaking. I don't know what size those are, but it's massive. Um, and he has yellow smoke. Mm, got Tej with the NSX. Yeah, the, the new, new NSX. Yeah. I still like that car. I don't care what anyone says. It's nice. Yeah. It just looks like a stretched out. A cord. <laughs> <laughs> How to piss everyone off. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but it's true. Whatever. And then we have Mia. Mia. She has purple smoke behind her. Mia with her fine self. Yes. And she's, what, is this like a Chevelle or something? Chevelle SS. Yep. And then, what is this? And who is that? That's that That's that one chick. Um, The uh, computer hacker. Um, What was her name, Brian? Oh, the computer hacker. Oh, but chick. she has braids this time. I don't remember her name. Damn. So um. Her, so her hair is not not because she had the. Yeah. She had her hair all big. Mm -hmm. And now she has braids. Yeah. So that's kind of what threw me off. What kind of car is that? Is that? She's a, beautiful though, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She fire. Yeah. Um, so she has purple smoke and some kind of supercar. I can't tell what it is. I feel like I know what it is, and it's about to hit me as soon as as soon as we're done. Koningsegg. Yeah. Uh, it, I don't think it's. If it is a Koenigsegg, it has to be the CCXR because it looks older. Yeah, this doesn't look like a, a, a one of the more modern yeah, ones. It but it's like an early 2000s. Yeah. And uh, John and Cena's in this movie. John Cena. They I, didn't don't, know, I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know he was in it? No. That was announced a little while ago. But John Cena's, yeah, John Cena is in it. I don't know who he plays, what kind of character. I mean, dude, he's – talk about guns, dude. That That's dude. What I was about to say. Yeah. He, <laughs> Some of them Mexican supplements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's in front of a, a, a Mustang. You got a GT500. And he has the blue smoke. So I wonder what this color stuff has to do, or they're just kind of highlighting what the colors of the vehicles are. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, the no, Photoshop then, grade is uh, A+. Plus. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 interesting. Um, you know, you, they do these posters and stuff and these teasers for a reason. They don't just put it together just because it's, oh, that's a cool scene. Let's just put it in. I, I think... They have a rhyme and reason to do these things. So, I mean, I I, I remember Brian was you were telling me that you read a, a comment that that what are the are the cars going to turn into a robot, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And join the Autobots. Yeah, the join the Autobots. Like, get the Power Rangers out there. Imagine yeah. <laughs> Voltron, dude. Imagine what would happen. <laughs> but dude, I'm I'm you know, 
one thing that really makes me happy is that 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 classic looking charger from the front. Definitely. You know, but do you do you really think that's what it's going to be? I mean, that classic. I mean, it's hot, man. That thing looks cool. It's nice. And we classic. only see see its front side too. Yeah. But it has the the, the classic grill. It has the round lights in the front. So it's a charger. 500, 500 so 500 cc's yeah okay however many liters that is for for, <laughs> for people in america i don't so, know yeah so whatever it is so we got the teaser we got some some imagery uh friday the the trailer comes out so we'll we'll be watching it we're going to try to film ourselves watching it do a reaction video and you can uh, watch it with us yeah or you can watch it with i will we'll, we'll, we'll play around with that keep follow us on facebook and instagram we'll probably post some stuff about that uh what we're going to be doing so if you guys want to watch it with us talk to us while we're watching it i think that would be a cool thing to do if uh, we can figure out how to make it happen yeah Definitely. cool all right so so we're already i'm an hour in and uh you know we have jobs so we can't just just sit here and talk all day although i wish that that we could sometimes but um we're going to to wrap it up um so just a little bit of housekeeping um you know if you enjoyed this this podcast uh be sure to like and subscribe um you know try not to just listen to us um but like be sure sure to go over to our youtube and watch us as well um you know, we have a lot of stuff yeah. stuff that we put up on screen and we don't want you guys you guys to miss out on that so uh also dm us tag us uh we, we are we want to hear from you we want to interact with you guys so you know with these new segments that we're doing we got this week we did custom jada builds uh culture corner uh culture highlights jada throwback um tease the teaser uh which we already kind of you know we we pass over something but we'll we'll we'll, we'll yeah, hit we'll up do next, that one week. next week but uh there's other segments that we're going to be doing and we'll again we'll highlight those inside the description of the the podcast but yeah send us your uh your images your memes your your customs uh your your cool photography all that stuff we want to be able to highlight we want to mention you guys on this podcast so yeah come on and out and and, and join uh the 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 jada cast by by bring giving us some uh, some content for yeah it. definitely and uh until next week yeah. not <laughs> not next year um yep. we will see you guys next time see I'm, you again i'm jordan i'm mike peace out guys i almost forgot that <laughs> yeah.